Hey, let's go around the dirt flinger. Oh, I see the old Class 7 is all here. It's good to see you again, Valimar. I heard stories, but he really is talking as well as any person now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Well, in any event, I'm glad it's easier to communicate with him now. I suppose you've got a lot to talk about with Valimar, huh, Celine? Yes, we try on occasion when we both have some free time. At any rate, I understand the current situation. First and foremost, we must locate our enemies. Yeah, just leave that to me. Hmm. Where the heck did she go? <sighs> I feel refreshed. Okay, there seems to be an optional event here. You know, are you alright? Have you been in bed all morning? Sorry, I'm just... Yuna. At the end of the day, we can't fully know what she's going through. Yeah, we can imagine the pain and sadness of having something taken from us, but we haven't experienced the same thing she has. I'm from Remifuria, so it's the same for me. Crossbow getting annexed was shocking, but it felt so far away. Agreed, it never really affected me personally, so I didn't realize. Yuna may complain a lot, but she's always so energetic and upbeat. I had no clue she had been feeling th like this deep down. Oh, I don't blame yourself. Jessica, Louise, I already told Kurt, but we'll be leaving soon. I know you both have your own assignments to take care of, but I'll need to leave Yuna to you for the time being. Of course, good luck to you, Instructor. We'll take good care of Yuna while you're gone. Stay, stay safe. Only there was someone who could help Yuna. For now, we'll stay close by. Let's... Oh, what? Whoa, 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 what? I am screenshotting that. Holy shit, that is nightmare feel. I regret not being able to see what Yuna's true feelings were. But what's important is, I will do anything to help her as my friend. How did that happen? How did I reproduce that? You know, it looks like she didn't eat breakfast. Hmm, what's something that's good for your digestion? Oh, I know, I'm gonna get to work on it right away. I already gave her the most recent one, huh? Please come again! Chop up some onions. Still no information on Ouroboros. Look, they're getting away every opportunity. What an inconvenience. Well, I suppose you may feel the same way about me. No, I mean, I'm also acting under the government's orders. Hmm, it's not like I care about what you think of me. Oh well, with the situation the way it is, we're all counting on you. If it comes down to it, I suggest you use all tools at your disposal. Yes, I understand. Seems like everyone's still shaking up over everything that happened yesterday. But I think that in the end time they'll be feeling better, really. Well, I'm sure it helps that you've been going around to talk to all of them. Sometimes people just need a friendly ear. All I really did was chat with them. It wasn't anything special. Besides, I still haven't been able to talk to Yuna. You did all you needed to, Toa. You were there for them. Yeah, I've lost count of how many times you boosted our confidence by being there when we need you most. Especially when we were on the Courageous. Oh, you say that, but you were the ones who gave me confidence. So it makes me happy to hear that I helped you all out in some way. So I need to make sure I help my students too. You need to work hard to be a good instructor and help our students through all this. You be careful out there, okay? You know it's been cooped up in her room since last night. I know I knew the Empire was bad, but I didn't realize just how terrible things really were. I've been thinking about it a lot after hearing about what happened in Hamel. Oh, I see you have more members of the old Class 7 with you, just like at St. Ark. Oh, you went back to your old uniform. If only Yuna and the heirs were coming with you, I would have tagged along as well. I appreciate it if you stayed here and looked after them instead. But even if they were, there's still no reason for you to come with me. Gas, you say that to me even after I'd gone so far to show my tender adoration for you, Instructor Reen? Reen? No way, are you having some sort of illicit relationship with... Not a chance. Hey, playing hard to get, are we? In any case, Elisa, Emma, it's a pleasure to properly make your acquaintance. Uh, um... This girl's pretty cheeky, isn't she? Um, what's going on exactly? Sheesh, Reen, get a clue. 
Yeah, seriously. We're using our army contacts in the Orwell network to try and pinpoint the whereabouts of the Ion, but no development so far. There must be somewhere we haven't looked yet. Considering who we're up against, this isn't going to be easy. I'll keep a lookout on my end. You guys do the same just in case. Yes, of course. I'll take a look. Oh yeah, while I'm at it... This one. 150 years after the recapture of the capital by Emperor Hector, powerful families rose across the Empire as the nation began to re-establish itself once more. Its various regions gradually condensed into a handful of provinces. The families in power were recognized by the Emperor and became overseers of the respective provinces, the nobility. Before long, however, they began quarreling over territory, sparking a great many skirmishes between them in the process. During this time, great knights akin to the Emperor, Hector, Emperor Hector's Vermilion Knight appeared across the land. And were quickly pressed into the center of these conflicts. The Azure Palatinate, Ashen, Argent, and Auric Knights were seized by the various noble families, granting them overwhelming power and the ability to decide the outcome of battles. Those without the great knights' power saw them as bringers of ruin. Before long, certain groups began devoting all their resources to fighting some way to combat these unstoppable threats. Plus gave rise to a new creation of Erebonia's mages, golems created by powerful spells, the Magic Knights. Like many other groups of the era, the mages were obsessed with the glory of the ancient Zemurians and devoted themselves wholly to recreating it. Their obsession was funded by an influx of Mira from lesser noble families and assistance from a certain faction. Maybe the IBC? Under their supervision, a slew of magic knights was created, all for the sake of combating the unstoppable power of the great knights. However, the magic knights were not without flaws. Perhaps their greatest failing is that they were unable to be operated unless they could draw power from active spirit veins. They became a successful countermeasure against the great knights nonetheless. The spirit veins were always disrupted wherever a great knight made an appearance. In the year 527, the first golem that could be considered a prototype for the magic knights was created in the workshop of a mage serving a formerly powerful but now long forgotten noble families of the north. At the height of five arch, this headless golem known as Old Gaudia became a remnant of the mage's trial and error in developing other models of magic knights. Hmm. I'd like to think I understand Eunice's feelings to some extent. I am from Jurai, after all. I think for now, we just need to let her be. I'll make sure to bring her something to eat when the time is right. Yuna's been in her room since last night. Well, I'm just glad she didn't get hurt. If only had some counseling knowledge. No, that's not the matter here. I hope she gets better soon. You guys should get going. No need for me to keep saying the same stuff over and over again. Good luck with everything. Yes, understood. You just leave things to us. No, yeah, no problem. And about that place we talked about, go ahead and use it however you like. Better you guys than anyone else. Of course, thank you. Huh? Just leave the students to me. Good luck at everything. Wait, is, is he telling us to use the SSS building? Just like last time, we're in, the co we're in combat mode from now on. I'm worried about Yuna, but I can't let those creeps run around doing whatever they want. This is what I've been training for. <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> she sounds reliable. Yeah, she, seriously. This is what I've been training for. I'm getting excited. Okay. Instructor Randy seemed upset about not being able to move around freely. In any case, we just need to follow his orders and carry out our duties. We'll make sure to give it our best. Those two from last night have gone ideas knows where. And Yuna is... Ugh, what should we do? I know you're nervous, but you need to relax. Take some deep breaths and pretend to write calming words on your hands. Okay. But I don't have a pen on me right now. Um, you just need to pretend to write. These two are kind of similar in how they take everything so seriously. Machias is the intelligent type, and Wayne is more of a brute force type. Seeing Machias like this, I can tell he's really grown. Calming words, calming words. I see, I feel like I'm calming down. Things got pretty wild last night. Didn't think Miss Wild Philly would shut her uh, would shut down like that, though. Everyone around here is just too soft. When you get hit, you just hit back harder. That's all there is to it. If you need some manpower, I can go with you. If you want help, the best thing you can do right now is stay by Yuna. That stubborn attitude of yours might help her feel better. Screw you. Anyway, those Ouroboros freaks were stronger than I heard. But remember this, if I see them again, they're going down. 
Yeah, how about you at least you're, learn your S-Craft first? That's the society showed up just like last time. From what Kurt said, a lot happened on the roof of the tower. Anyway, just don't make any of the girls cry. If anything happens, you can rely on combat tactics, Instructorine. I may not look it, but I've made progress. I'll be counting on you then. Elisa, Emma, be sure to watch me. I'll blast through those bad guys to Gehenna and back with my rifle. Sure. Thank you. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but... He seems to have an ulterior motive in mind. Huh. Instructor Reen, do you need any, my, any divine uh, night orbs? Let's see, maybe I should ask you for one just now just in case. Oh, so he's doing what Clara used to do on the Courageous. Yes, Gustav learned all he knows from Mint, though. So I see. Mint, huh? That's got me kind of worried. I mean, I'm sure you're more incapable, but... Uh, Miss Mint can be a little absent-minded at times, but she's still a master technician all the same. I see, you really believe in her. Well, she is Instructor Makarov's niece. What should I enhance? Well, I can't make any more orbs, but... And I'm pretty sure I have enough stones here anyways. Be careful! We want to upgrade your Divine Knight or the Panzer Salats, please let me know. I'll use whatever Mi Miss Mint taught me to adjust them. Got it. Uh, be careful! Got it. Uh, be careful! Hmm, we're still stuck with the Drakens. What a shame. I feel like we could use an upgrade by now. And seriously, why are Yuna's weaker in every stat? You think she would be stronger in defense, at least? Hmm. Can I believe Yuna of all people is on a downer? Honestly though, that society is really starting to piss me off. Most I can do is just focus on my own job though. That means keeping everyone's weapons in good condition and helping Tita as much as possible. <laughs> Thanks! Hmm. Can't really do any upgrades here. See ya! I'm Instructor Reen. You're hanging out right now, right? Yeah, on government orders. Please keep an eye on Yuna and the others for me. Yes, of course. So, Tia, how's the new equipment looking? Good, just wrapped up the test runs and adjustments yesterday. Once I get through the final test, it should be combat ready. I'm glad I hear that. I'll run through the final inspection of the new equipment. Please be careful, everyone. Yes! Everyone's slots must be unlocked. Oh wow, that was an expensive slot. This physically hurts to open, but it must be done so I can win. We'll take the bikes and drive straight to Crossbell City. Are we ready to leave camp now? Alright, let's get moving. I can drive one of the bikes, but can you drive the other one, Elisa? Sure can. I had plenty of time to learn during testing. Do we have a plan for what we're going to do once we get to the city? About that, I've got a place in mind that may prove useful to us. Let's head to Central Square first. Oh, well then, lead the way. Sounds like we have our plan. Oh, but who should ride of whom? Hmm. Who will you have ride with you? Let's set this however you like after the event. Hmm. Huh. Hey, very well, come with you then. Try not to hit too many bumps on the road. I'm with Elisa then. Got it, hop in. Mark, yes, this place is... Chief Tio told me. Is that perhaps... Yeah, I got permission from the superior... My superiors at the inspectorate. And Kope's still there. It's currently owned by the Governor General and under the purview of the inspectorate. It's used, it used to be the home to the Cro Crossbell Police's special support section.
I wonder if the whole thing about the... Uh, about uh, the, the plan of making Reen overshadow Lloyd. I wonder if that's supposed to be some kind of meta thing about uh, Crossbell kind of overshadowing... The, uh, I mean, well, the, the Erebonia arc overshadowing the Crossbell one in the West because of the lack of official localization for Crossbell. Hmm. This is where Randy and Teo used to operate from. And now we've even taken their building, but they did give us permission. Strange that no one's here, but it still feels kind of welcoming. Yeah, it's kind of reminds me of when we live in the third dorm. Heh, <laughs> yeah, now you mentioned it, I agree. But why did the inspectorate have to target this place? Originally, we were supposed to do our inspection at, on the offices in Orcus Tower, but... At the last minute, we were ordered to check for any liabilities in the buildings under the Governor General's control. For real? It's clearly a flimsy ploy to, bl uh, to, to buy time. Either that, or they're just harassing you guys. Yeah, they're just wasting your time on pointless searches to delay your main inspection. Honestly, it seems a little pathetic coming from Rufus. I felt the same way until I found out it wasn't him. The orders came from the others in his administration. Well, I knew from the beginning that this wasn't going to be easy. But looking on the bright side, at least we can use this as a way to fulfill our promise to Randall. And not a bad way of thinking about it. That's true, let's get started. We borrowed our table layout materials and began speculating what the society could be up to in Crossbell. Probably check all of the bell areas again. What's Ouroboros trying to do here in Crossbell? The situation is pretty complicated, with the visiting VIPs and the railway cannons being brought in, but I think the key word here is experiment. Experiment? That's what Prince Albert asked the fool. The word was also used in Sutherland, right? Yeah, because of that, I feel like this incident is a continuation of the previous one, which includes the appearance of the Ion just like in Sutherland. The Ion, it's the successor to the model that was used in Crossbell. I got information about it in Sutherland, but it's strange how such a huge machine can move like that. It's bigger than Goliath, yet yeah, it's bipedal. Yeah, Professor Schmidt was saying the same thing. The Ion that appeared at the tower was slimmer, but it was much bigger than the Divine Knights. And when it flew away, it was faster than Valimar. I didn't expect to see a humanoid weapon stronger than the Divine Knights come from outside the Empire. But even though Ouroboros created the Ions, not even they were able to use them at first. They needed to power them up with the Septarians. It was only thanks to the power of a Septarian they were able to function. The girl known as the Zero Child was the one who powered them, but she's in hiding now. And even if she wasn't, she lost her powers a while ago, right? Yeah, Randy and Chief Teo swear to it. But even so, that purple Ion was moving around without any problems. And on top of that, there was that what McBurn said. Well, we don't have the Septarian's power, so we can't show off its full potential. But if you wait a bit longer, we'll be able to show you a trick or two. Hmm, that intrigues me. Without the Septarian's power, it had limited functionality. So does that mean if they can meet certain requirements, they can release its full power? Yes, but all the, Sept the Septarians are the power of Ideos herself. What could possibly be strong enough to stand in for that? All that, with all that being said, I think it's safe to say the, that that ion uses an immense amount of mana. Yeah, I felt it. Mana is spiritual energy, right? I don't quite understand how it differs from orbital energy. As far as I'm aware, orbital energy is mana that is created using orbits, making it easier to use. There are many mysteries surrounding orbits, so I don't know the details. Hmm, so only their inventor, Professor Epstein, would know for sure. However, both kinds of energy seem similar. It's possible, even possible to move large machines with mana too. It's rumored that the church even has airships that operate on mana. Interesting, Divine Knights work the same way. Yeah, so, yes, but if that ion utilizes even more supernatural power than the Divine Knight, it changes everything. Could it be taking in mana from outside? Like an overcharge? If that's the case, it means they need a spot full of mana. So, we'll visit the bell areas then. If, that, if so, that narrows down the places they could be hiding. Things are starting to become clearer. Don't celebrate just yet. Crossbell's packed with spots like that. Huh? Wait, really? Yes, I came across several while I was looking for Vida. There's the old battlefields in the northeast, the wetlands around the lake, and the monasteries from the Dark Ages. So we can't just check all of them. Exactly. Since the inspection team is here, we can't take too much time. What do we do then? If only we could use some kind of radar or something. Perhaps the best thing to do would be to have Emma sense for spirit veins. But you can't cover all of Crossbell, huh? Yes, not even my sister or grandmother could do that. If only there was a way to amplify my abilities. Amplify. Reen? No, well, maybe. Alisa, can we get a hold of Chief Teal? Chief Teal, I think she's at the Foundation branch. 
Do you have an idea? I'm not certain, but I think she can help us. Okay, if you say so. If necessary, we can use the orbital net. There's a terminal there. That'd be better suited to transferring data than our arcuses. The Aeon system. Can Emma use it? Got it? I understand the situation. I think you're right. We might be able to use the geofront to locate it. Really? The underground district that was used to develop the orbital science of alchemy. Wow, I never knew there were places like this underground. Yeah, remember what we talked about yesterday. You're pretty sharp. I won't go into detail, but the Geofront connects all the spirit veins in Crossbell. If we can c combine Emma's search powers with my Eon system, a wide range of search should be possible. I think I can also use the knowledge I gained while searching for the missing bracers. Uh-huh. It seems like there's hope after all, thank goodness. Yes, Chief, T Ch Chief Teal, will you be able to come with us? Yes, of course, that's what I, I'd like to say. But starting this morning, we're being monitored by the Intelligence Division and are stuck in the RF building. Yeah, and if, if you helped us, that would uh, that would undermine their efforts to... Uh, the, uh, in, uh, the Imperials' efforts to, uh, uh, to erase the SSS. Really? Looks like they're really trying to keep the SSS in lockdown. On top of that, many districts are being sealed off to combat terrorism. There's one good spot for a wide-range search. All you need to do is get there. No directions. Guess we'll have to find it ourselves. Yeah, but it shouldn't be a problem. So where do we need to go? Geofront B Sector. S2 area. It's a secret area that can only be accessed from the old Grimwood Law Office. What? Got it, leave the rest to us. Grimwood Law Office? What the heck? Did Gr what did- Are we gonna find notes from Grimwood there? We'll handle this for you guys. He- Randy told me. Thank you. This, but this, this situation isn't ideal, but I'll do my best to support you. I've got info on, info on the area, as well as some other information, so please check it out. Alright then, please contact me once you start your search. The old Grimwood Law Office. You can get to this S2 area from that old building on West Street. So we go underground from there, and once we get to the goal area, that's when Emma comes into play. He leave it to me. However, I'm interested in the information T.O. gave us. Yeah, let's take a look. Monsters. Giga Murder Crab. Whoever localized this... Huh. Regen... Regen and Cove. Another one of these. I remember Regen and Cove have those annoying allies. It's a, it's a wanted monster. I'm surprised she was able to get this info while being monitored. If we have time later, we can go deal with them. Then. We can go around the city first to gather information and get prepared. Do as you please. You guys should be fine. Alright, let's get going. I wonder if we can play a Ponto on this machine. Heh. <laughs> what the? There's... There's lots of stuff in this building. Hmm. Okay, this terminal should do the job. Reen, do you want to contact Sharon? Can we? But wait, isn't she? She's resting in Orcus's Tower's medical office, right? Yes, her treatment is done, so she should be able to get permission to communicate with us. What shall we do? Let's talk to her. Sharon! My apologies for interrupting you. You must be quite busy. I appreciate you checking in on me ever so much. No, I'm the one who's sorry about everything. You protected me and got injured because of it. Oh, it's not that bad. It looks like I won't even have any burn scars. I, won't, I would do anything to protect someone who is dear to my lady. Sharon. To be perfectly honest, I feel rather rusty. Ten years ago, I would have fared much better against the likes of McBurn. Ah. You fought him be back before you joined the Ouroboros, right? Yes, I was defeated and we lost the war. But I'm certain that with Emma's skills, we can quench that those black flames of his. Yes, I will do my best. Maybe, but with your current power, if he unleashed his full strength. Sharon, please rest for now. We'll find a way to do it on our own. T, good luck. And I'm sorry, my lady. Please be careful. I will. Please get some rest. All done here? Sheesh, don't make an injured person talk for so long. May ideas bless you. Good luck of everything. Ah, that voice was Irina. Or not, Dr. Salen from St. Ursula. She's a medical genius, and they say her treatments are always perfect. I see, that's good. I'm glad to hear that someone of her caliber is with Sharon. But we didn't get to see her face this time. Honestly, me too. Thank you, Elisa. I've been worried for her since yesterday. For me, this is a family matter. Now let's get going. To the Geofront, everyone. 
Got it. Bonding points increased a bit. The Chief's Old Room. Somehow the Phantom Thief hid a briefcase in here. Hmm, the structure for the first floor doesn't seem to have changed too much. From this door leads to West Street. Oh, I see. Since we have the key, we may as well use it. Okay, now it's unlocked for uh, for use. Good. It wouldn't be the same if we couldn't use that as a shortcut. Still more optional events around here, though. What the? Is that, this must be belong to the to Lloyd. There are fr framed photos on the desk. This is. The Crossbow Police Department's SSS. They don't really look like police. There's a dog and a young girl. She's really cute, but is she? She and the dog have played Nora. She was the key to the, st the establishment of the independent state. Tia was cute too, though she's still cute now. Oh, and that woman. She must be the one I heard about. Randy is pretty much the same. In the middle is... Detective Fannings, but he's a fugitive now. We found him once a while back, right? Yeah, he was uh, trying to, uh, to take some uh, the orbital net data... Yeah, now I understand. He was trying to make a backup, I think. Why he was able to do what he did? The force behind this determination. Green. I'm sure we can't imagine how strong the determination was. Everyone except for Randy and Chief Teal are trapped in Michelin right now. Let's leave this picture here. Alright. We need to do our best in their stead. Hmm. What an inconveniently placed... Dang it, we can't go to Randy's room. We might find some of his porn mags there. Wazzy's room. Sergey's room. Okay, let's go upstairs. Hmm? Ellie... Tio, Noel, and then Kia's room. Oh, they even have some more stuffed animals here. Pickard. Do we ever get Pickard in the uh, uh, during Azure? There's a stuffed animal on the shelf. This is. It was in the picture. Yeah, I believe it belongs to Kia. I heard she's currently on the run. Yes, but nevertheless, I can still feel the warmth tucked inside it. I'm sure everyone loved her. Yeah. It would be nice to meet her someday. And then the top. We need to talk to... Cope. And then there was that... Uh, one... Uh, uh, mysterious figure here. Well? Hiss. This black cat. Know something about it? Just a little something Randy told me. Something about a whimsical little cat who lived on the roof of the SSS building. I see, I see. Still, he seems a little wary of us. We're not invading your territory. Huh? I'm waiting for my masters to return? Get your own place? Oh, I see. You're quite faithful. You're gonna wind up bald. Hiss. Celine, don't fight. Hiss. Sheesh. Hmm. Still not gonna forgive us anytime soon. I'm sure you're just Sundere, right, Kope? Oh, I missed this one. Brown hair Reen. Not sure why... Uh, let's see, why do you look at with brown hair? Hmm. Uh, look like a hot-blooded detectives. Heh. <laughs> So it's basically to make him look like Lloyd. Ashley, do you have anything to say? Well, you sure are quite the motley crew. And I'm guessing you got hit with a certain set of orders. Yeah. If you know about those, you must be familiar with Ouroboros. Hmm, I've heard of them, sure, but... Here I was thinking your orders would be the head of the Calvert. Er, ugh, she got me good. But wait, why would you think that? Did something happen at the border? 
Hey, it's just the usual staring contest. But Calvert knows how dangerous those railway cannons are, so they can't ease up. I figured you were responding to that. Guess I got it wrong this time. We can't let our guards down around her. I'm sure her army is handling things, but it's still scary to think about. Hmm. I wonder, should I try to get more evergreens or just wait to buy them? I don't know when I'll be able to buy them again. I have to break it. It would cost way too much to make. I would need to break out another U material pack for that. Hold on, if I'm in the same room as Toa, can I give her this orbital dryer? This is the latest orbital dryer. So nice. Are you sure I can have it? Of course, you're always doing so much to help me, Toa. This one's supposed to give you and your hair a nice sheen. Oh, I see. Since my hair has so much volume, I always have trouble gathering it up. Thank you, I'm so happy. What the? Green marks? The hell, Machias? Long time no see, Pateri. I heard you were working in the department store in Crossbell, but I had to see it for myself. Honestly, I'm surprised you got hired at a place like this. Cream, cram it. I can do whatever I put want when I put my mind to it. I'm sure even a spineless dweeb like you knows that interviews are all about guts. I showed them that trick where I make applesauce using only an apple and these fists. Got hired on the spot. That's pretty amazing, actually, in more ways than one. You're lucky your boss is so, um, open-minded. Well, it was my previous manager. He was a good guy. But this new one is fishier than the special at the Gamgee's pub. I saw him cranking up the prices under people's noses, so I messed them up a little. You did what? That's a bit much. It's okay now, don't worry everyone. I went with her to apologize, so the issue is taken care of. That's a relief, thank you. I'm sorry for all the trouble she's caused. Please continue to look after her. Cut the, uh, cut the hell out. Why are you acting like my dad all of a sudden? Sheesh, still picking a fight over every little thing, huh? There's that's a, there's a materi I remember. There probably aren't many department store employees quite like her. I bet Monk would like to hear about this. Let me tell you something, Machias. I came to this town before it was even a thought in your nerd-ass brain. That means I outrank you here. You got that? I'm too busy to argue with you right now. But it seems like you found your niche here. Just listen to the lady teaching you and I'm sure you'll go far. Go look at everything. Girl, you're talking down to me now. I'm gonna feed you those glasses, you cocky ass. Glad to see they're still getting along well. We used to have a girl named Pearl working here, but... Well, let's just say Pateri came along at the right time. She still has a lot to learn, but I sincerely believe she'll make a great receptionist one day. Can't believe it, that Pateri girl tried to attack me. It's all started when I told her to write sale on one of her undiscounted items. She called me a punk-ass cheapskate. Sheesh, what is with that girl? <laughs> Give me the- Okay, let's talk to Monk. <laughs> Heyway Trading. What's this place? I see, I've seen it in the documents. It's the Crossbell branch of Heyway. One of the largest syndicates in Calvert. Apparently they have implied a verbal consent from the Governor General's office to operate here. Oh, you're back. He probably knows about the bird cage operation. Looks like you're with a different group than yesterday. Whoa, wait! Huh? Um, sheesh, what are you looking at? Master Zin, you mustn't stare. Ahem. Don't worry, just relax and enjoy yourselves. Wow, the finest tea and sweets. I'm um, sorry, I appreciate your, your, we re appreciate your hospitality, but we're in a hurry. I'm sorry, maybe next time? I see. That's fine, I'll be waiting. Sheesh, looks, looks like this little brat likes you guys. Well, it seems like he's willing to talk. Shouldn't hurt to stop by once in a while. Any information about Lloyd? By the way, the letters were delivered yesterday. Hmm, it's a bit unfortunate that I can't tell the students. I'll make sure to tell them myself. That would be most reassuring. Thank you. Hmm, well done making it here, Ashton Chevalier and associ Associates. That said, where's the pink-haired one? I don't see your other students either. Right, well, we ran into some extenuating circumstances. Circumstances? Hmm, how unfortunate. I heard there was an incident up at Orcus Tower last night. Ah, well, he's pretty well informed, isn't he? Oh, well, my only concern right now is Michelin. Ellie's still there, after all. I may not be able to go against the Governor General's will, but I will do what I can. Good luck to you all. I see, seems like he knows someone in that bird cage roof is set up. 
We may be, not be able to work directly, but at least we have a support. I have a big welcoming heart after all. Whether you're Erebonian or not makes no difference to me. A, a child of culture, right? Huh. That guy's still running around like crazy. Oh, we should have talked to the DNS. I know those guys were getting censored. Whew, yesterday's interview was incredible. I was given a gag order regarding an attack, though. That's censorship for you, hard at work. Well, either way, I should get started on putting my report together. Grace is currently covering a, an event in Michelin. Oh, shoot, don't tell me they're keeping... Grace is also uh, uh, considered a problematic person that they're trying to keep there. I've heard the Governor General's placed some restrictions on being able to go in and out of the area. I'm a little worried. Actually, I'm more worried about what will happen when she's back. The one Grace, I'm more worried she'll, about the kind of trouble she'll stir up when she's back. Oh, shoot, so much to think about. Hmm, what's going on with this truck? The Panther Gruel's still there. Uh, they'll probably send another uh, ship to pick the inspection team up when the time comes. Okay, so they say Alphen is somewhere in here, but where? There she is. Princess Elfin, won't you reconsider? We still have other events to attend afterwards. But don't you want to at least take a look? At least, Princess Elfin? Ah. Reading everyone. At least, and Princess Elfin. Seeing Australia uniforms, are you? Trying to get out a god in disguise? Well? Ugh, what were you guys thinking? Is this because of what happened with Yuna yesterday? Yes, I was foolish. I didn't even consider why Speaker McDowell wasn't at the party. Without realizing, I contributed to the plan to take Crossbell's pride from it. Your Highness. No, it's not your fault. Isn't it? In re retrospect, my brother was also worried about me coming along in this visit. Perhaps he was worried the Imperial Governor and the go uh, Government and the Governor General were planning to use me. But I didn't make uh, this up to Yuna and the people of Crossbell. Your Highness. Princess Elfin. I understand, but please wait. Let Class 7 and Branch Campus handle this. We'll make things right. Huh? Reen. Reen already has, has a request that we've all been helping with. If we can make Ouroboros retreat, the birdcage should be lifted. We'll be sure to ret return with good news. Everyone. So here you are. We've been looking for you. Did these people force you to do this? Uh... No, they had nothing to do with this. We just happened to meet them here. I'm sorry for trying to escape, and now I've ca have caused trouble for you too. No, it's, it's no trouble. We can talk to the Governor General and rage some time. There's no need, I shall return to my chambers now. Green, everyone, please be careful. We will. And what, as what we talk- as what- and as what we talked about just now, we'll take care of everything, don't worry. You too, Elise, please have faith in me. I will, good luck. Sheesh, how rash can they possibly be? But I feel like both of them have grown up a lot. They most certainly have. And not just physically, they've become so responsible too. Probably stokes some bro bro brotherly pride in you, huh, Reen? Yeah, they couldn't be prouder. We need to work hard for her highness's sake. Yeah, you're right. The elephant's bond level has increased. Can we even use the elevator? No, I guess not. We are stuck on the first floor forever. The murder crab. Oh, that looks strong. Watch out. It's my turn. I'm going. Yeah. I'm up. Hey Okay. I won't fall. Ha! 
Ah! Shiny. This'll help! Thanks! There! Here! An opening! An opening! Leave it to me. Let's go! It's my turn! Arcus activate! Ha! It's my turn! Detector beta. Analyzing enemy unit! I got it! Uh, immune to a lot of immunities as usual. Lone blade. Huh? Ah! There! Here! An opening! Yes! Let's go! Radical design! Yes! Totally radical! Warpulse Flare. Eclipse Edge. Hmm, only weak to Earth. It's weak to Earth, huh? Arcus, activate! I'm up! Get back! Now! Take this! There! Leave it to me. Hmm. Go up in flames? Fire! Now's our chance! An opening! Take this! Oh, nice. Let's go. Sigma operation. Swiftly! Sigma operation! I'm up! Get back! It's down! It's mine! Okay, yeah, having double evade tank really helps. One evade tank, the enemy might walk around them, but with two, they're, they're forced to confront them both. to me our story I appreciate it it's my turn okay yeah it's down it's mine yes How close do you have to be to attack? Okay, you can attack from pretty far away. That's good. Now! An opening! There! It's my turn! Ha! Now! It's mine! Oh boy. It's my turn! We're gonna lose our turn advantage soon, so I better use brave points. Dark Blade. Please! Now's our chance! Everyone, please help! Got it! Leave it to Got me! It. There! Huh. Leave it to me! Mail Breaker. 
Break through! They're down! Attack! <laughs> Good job, Emma. That was wonderful, Machias. All right, got it! Okay, got some money for that. So what's this lone blade and what's so good about it anyways? First attack slash craft deals plus 50%. Hmm, so basically... Uh, 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 the physical version of Night Gleam. Hmm, might be good if you wanted to start a battle uh, with... <laughs> with uh, with the uh, an S craft. What the heck? Ooh, it looks strong. That's a Watch region cove. It looks so broken and skinny. It's nothing like its former self. Pathetic. I'll put you all your misery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's go. Shit. Marcus, activate! Oh, come on! Yes! Okay, serene blessing so I can get rid of shit. Thanks. I appreciate it! Yeah! Leave it to me! Shining on you two as Let's well, because I'm kind of scared. Yes. I appreciate it. Uh. There. Here. Attack. Uh. There. Here. Attack. Yes. Serene blessing again. Healing breath! Thanks! I appreciate it! I'm up! Okay, let's go around and see if I can bait you. Let's go! Radical design! Let's or should go. I stick around? Get back! It's down! It's mine! Uh. There! Unforgivable! God damn what they're going after. <laughs> they're going after Emma. I always hate the region come for always going after your back row. It's even in this game, in its degraded form, it does just that, doesn't it? Break through! Leave it to me. See, where's my Curia shit? That's a huge status bomb, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go! Operation. My turn. Huh. Now, an opening. It's my turn. Oh, crap. I could steal a critical bonus for Nest Craft, couldn't I? That could be a good idea. Hmm. Uh, now! An opening! My turn. Mm, AT delay is just not gonna proc on you, is it? Yes! Now 
Now's our chance! An opening! It's my turn! Hmm. Take this! Here! Attack! It's my turn! Let's see what Marcius' Justice Bullet looks like. Or should I go with Gabriel Arrow first? Let's go with Gabriel Arrow first, son. This is my secret weapon. Holy light, gather in my bow. Take this. Gabriel Arrow. Repent for your sins. This is it! You failed your inspection! One more! This is the end? Justice, Justice bullet. bullet! No problems. Let's continue. Okay, got a few of them leveled up. Ingenuity? So this gets me heat up and gradual EP recovery on the field. Might be good for an ATS type like Elisa. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.